everyone. I am super excited for today's workout. I thought I would bring you through one of my at home lower body workouts. I am halfway through my pregnancy, so I'm about 20 weeks pregnant. So this is a pregnancy friendly workout. Obviously you need to check with your own doctor before you start any program or training while pregnant because every pregnancy and every person is different that same goes for any supplements or anything you'll be taking as well but whether you are pregnant or not this will be a killer leg workout so probably the most important thing i want you to remember while working out pregnant is i want you to really brace your core so you want to really engage those core muscles you really want to suck the belly to the spine so you're not sucking in your sort of pulling your belly in and sort of hugging your baby. You want to be doing this the entire duration of all your exercises. If you are pregnant, you should be staying hydrated, drinking lots of water throughout your workout. And also you want to be pushing yourself a little bit, like you still want to get a good workout, but you don't want to be out of breath and dizzy and like pushing yourself insanely hard. It's not really the time for that. It's more keeping up our fitness levels instead of trying to push any boundaries. That being said, let's get going. All you need for this entire workout is some dumbbells. First up, we are going to be doing a goblet squat. You just want to hold one dumbbell in front of your chest and you really want to keep those feet not too far apart. We're not doing a sumo squat or anything but you want to give space to accommodate your belly if you are pregnant. We're going to have our feet turned outward slightly and we're going to go nice and deep, as deep as we can. And if you don't want to go that deep, you can go sort of parallel, go for whatever is comfortable for you. Slow controlled movement and make sure you're squeezing your butt the entire time, tensing that belly and pulling it in nice and firm. So for this one, we will be doing three sets of 12. I'm going to be using a 20 kilo dumbbell for this. You do not have to go that heavy or you do not have to use weight at all. Remember, it's all about doing what is comfortable for you, but you do also still want to be getting a good burn and a good workout in. Okay, once you have finished your three sets of that, we are going to be going straight into our next exercise. Make sure you staying hydrated, grab some water, but I'm feeling the burn, I'm feeling good. I'm, it's making me more excited for the rest of this workout. So next, we will be doing Romanian deadlifts. So you're just gonna need some dumbbells. I am using two 12 and a half kilo dumbbells. You're gonna have your feet about shoulder width apart and you're gonna be going down nice, slow and controlled and feeling that real movement really at the hip hinge and squeezing your glutes through the entire movement. When I do this exercise, you don't focus on like bending forward, you keep your shoulders back, nice neutral spine. You focus on pushing your bum backwards and with the belly in the way, it can get uncomfortable. So make sure you do it to wherever is comfortable for you. So we are going to be doing three sets of 12 again for that. Next one, we will be doing a reverse lunge into a knee raise with holding two dumbbells at your sides. I will be using seven kilo dumbbells for this one. Sweaty, making sure I'm still staying hydrated, it's so important. Next up, we will be doing a lateral lunge. See, exercises like squats, lunges, all the basics, all the really good stuff is really, really good while you're pregnant. And also, not only to help with things like back pain, to all that kind of stuff, 
but also helping you prepare for birth and labor. So for this one, I am going to be using a 12 and a half kilo dumbbell and I'm gonna be holding it right at my front. If you like, you can also use two dumbbells and hold them at your shoulders or you can even hold them down in front like this, but I'm going to be holding right in front of my chest. So you're gonna have your legs nice and wide apart for this one with toes pointed outward. You're gonna make sure you draw in that belly and then you're gonna go as low as is comfortable to each side. So straight from one side to the other. So after we've done our three sets of that one, we are going to go ahead and do some hamstring curls on the floor. So yeah, this one is really good for your hamstrings. I am going to use these core sliders. These are actually tummy fit ones that haven't been released yet. But yeah, I'm going to use these core sliders. But if you don't have any core sliders, you can wear socks if you're on a nice slippery sort of floor or you can also use a towel or two towels underneath your heels, whatever works. I'm going to put the sliders under my heels and I'm going to go up in a glute bridge position. Hold your core nice and tight and squeeze your glutes up and you're basically just going to, you can do one leg at a time or if you want you can do both legs and you're going to slide one heel out at a time and keep your bum raised as high as possible to keep all those muscles engaged. Okay, my hamstrings are definitely on fire after that, so is my butt. Last but not least, exercise we're going to do, so we want this to be a nice, well-rounded lower body workout. We are going to throw in some calves. Calves is just a great one to just throw in at the end. You don't want to neglect any body parts, and I find myself neglecting my calves sometimes. So for this one, I'm just going to be holding two dumbbells at my sides, and I'm basically just going to be doing standing calf raises. So I'm going to go up onto the balls of my feet and then slowly come back down. And I'm just going to repeat that. Three sets of 20 reps. And I'm going to make sure I'm squeezing the entire time. We are done, that is the workout. I hope your legs are on fire because mine are definitely burning. I'm feeling so good though. Anyway, I'm gonna show you my current post-workout routine. So straight after my workout, I wanna be getting a good amount of protein in. I'm just gonna use water and I'm gonna do one nice big scoop of protein. So this one is my women's best peanut butter cereal vegan protein which I've been having after every workout at the moment. I also have my protein sometimes in my oats in the morning, which you guys probably already know because I do that all the time. Though, remember, if you are pregnant, check with your doctor before taking any supplements or anything like that during your pregnancy. Then I'm just going to shake that up. And also another reminder, you guys, anytime you shop at Women's Best, don't forget to use my code TAMI20. I'll put all that in the description. I'll put a link where you can also buy my supplements. I am going to be bringing a lot more pregnancy workouts for you guys. So make sure you comment and let me know what you want to see. And thank you for watching.